Live in Western Oregon, this is NBC 16 News at 5.30. First at 5.30, Nazi and white supremacist paraphernalia found during a hate crime arrest in Eugene. Good evening and thanks for joining us for NBC 16 News at 5.30. I'm Gold Meadows. And I'm Alan Matthews. Take a look at these items. They were found in the home of a Eugene man arrested Wednesday morning on four counts of bias crime in the second degree. Police say that 34-year-old Adam Edward Braun had vandalized Temple Beth Israel four separate times before being arrested. NBC 16's Billy Spot spoke with EPD Chief Chris Skinner and the rabbi at the Temple Beth Israel about the arrest. Temple Beth Israel has been the victim of four hate crime incidents over the past six months, and Eugene police believe one man is responsible, Adam Edward Braun. He was arrested Wednesday morning after Eugene police served a search warrant, and what they found within his home goes beyond anti-Semitism. Police found two capes, one black and one white, with KKK markings, a white power flag, swastikas, and other hateful items associated with white supremacy. You know, you'll see in the pictures the things that we've seized to include Nazi uh, memorabilia, as well as uh, KKK types of uniforms. Police originally discovered Braun thanks to security footage provided by Temple Beth Israel. Rabbi Rubenstein was the person who discovered the most recent incident. As much as it was upsetting to see this, it was not terribly surprising to me for some of our members to walk up to the building and encounter it was very shocking. The remnants of the latest graffiti incident remain. Braun is accused of spray painting white power on the building on January 14th. Eugene Police Chief Chris Skinner making one thing clear during his press conference. He wants the community to be aware this is happening. White nationalism is happening in our community. He went as far as to say it will happen again, but he wants the community to know the department is taking this very seriously. It's the, it's the type of thing that we want to make sure our community know exists. And maybe equally as important, the type of thing that we want our community to know that we take very seriously. As for whether Braun is a member of a larger community locally, Skinner said, Somebody like this doesn't have a costume unless they're going to a costume party. And while other groups are being targeted, Temple Beth is grateful for the support from EPD and the community. You know, we certainly don't take for granted the care and the seriousness with which EPD has dealt with this. And I know that in this time of rising anti-Semitism, rising white supremacy, rising Islamophobia, it's so important that marginalized communities stand together against hate. Once again, EPD reiterates they understand the impact of hateful graffiti like this, and they take cases like this very seriously. Reporting in Eugene, I'm Billy Spots.